Hi guys, my name is Somil Shah and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to write a proper good IEEE paper. So most of the people do not know how to write a technical paper. This is the reason I decided to make a video on this. So what is the technical format? How, what should be the font size? Everything is very important. So let's uh, begin without wasting much of time. So first of all, to download the, the template of IEEE, you have to go to Google and simply type in IEEE paper format slash word, space word all right so the first one right here you can download it the link would be also there in the description section below so you can you know even download that so yeah so we would be waiting until the download gets complete and yeah you can see the paper uh, I mean the word file right here so this is the basic template uh, which tells you what to do how to do basically what should be the font size so here is the paper title there's here should be the subtitle the author's name then the abstract abstract should not be more than thousand words maybe and the keywords then you should have an introduction with an heading if you're inserting figures so this is a basic format uh, this format will be there in the description section below in the uh, in, in on my YouTube channel so I'm gonna show you my technical paper right here all right, so my paper is about Internet of Things, IoT based cloud data logging system using thingspeak.com. So, so the author's name is Somil Shah and Shailendra Jadeja. So you can have a look at it, my abstract. It's about thousand words. So abstract should not be more than thousand words. You should have a keywords. You should have an introduction. So this is how it looks like. Then I have a basic description about what uh, uh, what hardware I'm using. You should describe your hardware in detail about uh, and also the specification. What is the minimum temperature range, maximum temperature range, repeatability, reproductibility, etc., etc. Basically. So after you're done with that, so you can have a look at it. Whenever you insert figures in your picture, make sure that you uh, you know give a proper labeling to the figure. That that means figure one pin diagram of DHT11 temperature. Naming is very important, so make sure you do that. Uh, that should be very uh, proper, basically. So you can have a look at it. The, it should be Times New Roman and the font should be 10. So this is very important when you are publishing some papers in our reputed journals after that uh, comes uh, uh, the reference section now what is reference reference ma means that uh, th uh, these are the uh, list of papers who uh, which i was referring to and you can have a look at it see one two three four the number and after doing that if you observe my paper carefully i'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so you you, you see basically right here I have mentioned a uh, uh, four year. That means I have taken this from the reference paper number four. So that is this paper. This is very important because uh, you should uh, you should know uh, how to write a paper. So whatever uh, data uh, I mean material you are taking from any other paper or anybody's paper, make sure you add that in the reference section and. Uh, uh, also, uh, you have to define that. I mean, uh, which reference paper that is number four or three or etc. After that comes acknowledgement. It should be not more than uh, you can you know give acknowledgement about three to four lines. That is more than enough. A short, sweet reference. Then the result should be there. The code should be there in your uh, IEEE paper. And this is the basic format of your IEEE paper basically. So, so you can just have a look at it. The title title should be in times new roman the heading should be 18 author's name should be in times new roman uh, heading should be 11 and abstract and everything should be there in times new roman and 10 10 10 or 9 is the basic size and ab abstract you have to bold the abstract part and all the important keywords uh, section you have to bold it that's it i hope you guys uh, find this video a little bit useful uh, if, if so give a like subscribe to me uh, the link to download the IEEE template that is this one so this paper the link would be there in the description so you can you know simply edit you don't need to prepare the entire paper let's say triple E paper so you can quickly edit in this word file this word file will be there in the description you can download it so that's it for now. If you guys like my project videos and ideas, do give a like, subscribe to me. If you have any questions, list your question in the comment section and I would try my best to answer all your questions. That's it guys and see you guys.